Welcome to Tech with Azubzir Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What are parameterized the link services and why you use it? Now, link services are connection manager. So that can be connection manager uh, or connection stringer to your Azure Blob storage. Or that can be connection string to the Azure SQL DB or from to the Oracle DB. So it is a connection stringer to the different data sources. Now, when we say parameterized, that means we might need to change some values in that connection string. Most of the time, it is like that database name or server name. Now, what is the advantage of uh, having it? Because uh, you use this link service in multiple pipelines. And if you need to make change uh, to the database, uh, you will be only making change in the link service uh, instead of uh, making change to each of the uh, pipeline. So that's why we created this linked uh, services uh, with parameter. Now, let me show you how exactly you do, do that. Uh, let's go to Azure Data Factory here. And uh, now in the Azure Data Factory, I have uh, uh, right here I will go to manage and uh, I will go to the link services um, now I'll click new <coughs> Let's find out the Azure SQL d database um, so Azure SQL and uh, sorry Azure SQL and here is our Azure SQL database. Um, let's continue and uh, now it's going to give us this all those options that we can select. Um, let me show you a scenario where this could be useful. Um, so see right there I have this server that's the Azure SQL uh, connection and uh, I have database TBIT and TechRes TB. Now I have the test uh, table in the same uh, uh, both uh, databases. Uh, here you have a DB test uh, and if I go to the TBIT I have this uh, test. Um, by using linked service uh, with parameter I can change the database uh, name uh, and then uh, run on the, uh, my as a source or something that I need to extract the data from these uh, different uh, databases. Um, so I don't have to change a whole lot I will just change the database name in the parameter. Now I will go back here and uh, let me show you how I'm going to use that. Um, first of all select the subscription and here you will select a server and then you are selecting the database as of now you can see that I'm using a TBIT and here I will be providing username and then I will be providing password and let's go for the noun and here we have parameters and uh, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a parameter and I'm going to call it uh, PDB. So that means uh, I want to create uh, a parameter with the database name and I'm going to provide a TBIT. Now that's uh, all good here. But uh, if you notice, I have not used uh, this uh, parameter anywhere here. I'm using uh, just I created the parameter so I, I can use it here. So I can click right here. And uh, if I try multiple time actually, yes, and it's not giving me anything. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create this uh, uh, link service and come back and modify. So I'm going to call it LNK parameter. So LNKP and uh, that's it and uh, then we will be all good here and uh, now um, give me one second it should uh, give us uh, option to create okay I'm still not seeing the create button I have no idea why uh, let's see this is uh, so yeah so the, the link service name has to be a little more uh, instead of uh, lnk underscore p that's why probably this was not given me now this option to create um, so we are creating the link service and the, once the link service is created we'll be making some modification uh, to use the parameter so here I'm gonna go right there and then click uh, click on this uh, uh, link service and here we will go to the database so now once I click right there I see add dynamic content uh, now I can use the parameter called p underscore db hit ok and uh, apply before apply I have to provide the, the password one more time and uh, hit apply now if you notice uh, it is uh, using uh, our database name uh, TBIT I can go ahead and create some scenarios from here so let me take you guys here go to the pipeline let's create our pipeline uh, new pipeline and in this pipeline I'm going to use copy activity so let's say uh, use copy activity I go to source and I'm going to create a new source here Azure 
SQL and now you will see right there and here I will use the LNKPP parameter link service. So here it is asking me which table you want to get the data. So I can uh, simply click there and it is asking me, hey, you want to use this parameter for your link service? Yes, that's TBIT database. I'm going to be good with that. And uh, then it's loading the list of the tables. Um, I don't have a whole lot of tables. I have DBO test table that has only one record. Uh, and uh, we are all good here. Now, if you select the data, preview data, you can see right there, it is showing you one database name, TBIT. So now let's say I create uh, many of these, uh, um, sorry, let me, uh, we have to write the data to somewhere to publish. So go to sync here and I'm gonna go and say blob storage and in the blob storage CSV file and here uh, I'm gonna select the Azure blob storage. That is my uh, blob storage and container is input uh, and I'm going to create a test CSV file. Okay, first row has header, none. I'm going to click OK. Now our pipeline is ready. I'm going to publish this. Um, so think uh, in a scenario where you have created a tons of uh, pipelines and uh, you have used the link service in many pipelines uh, and they are pointing to the database, uh, let's say TBIT. And uh, when you deploy to the UAT or QA or prod, uh, you want to change to the another database name. Uh, so that's possible by using the linked services with the parameter. Now, if I will go ahead and debug, it's going to create a file that will read the data from TBIT, and that's the data it's going to read, and then write to the blob storage. Our pipeline is completed successfully. Let's go to the blob storage, and here we go to the container, and our container is input, and now we go to the test file. So test file is right there. And now let me show you the data. So you see right there ID and name and uh, the value is uh, DB TBIT. So that's great. Uh, now, as I told you, link service are connection and uh, what we can do, we can uh, use them in different uh, pipelines. Uh, and uh, if we wanna make change to the, uh, such as database name or server name, in those cases, we don't have to make any change in the pipelines. Uh, we can always go to the link service uh, and make change. Uh, so let me go back to the manage and here is our link services and here is our link services that we want to the link to ch uh, change to another uh, database. Um, see right there, that's the parameter it is using now. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I'm going to change the name. Um, so it's going to be tech brothers db and that that's the database uh, if you see right there this one okay that's the name we are providing uh, so that's all good here and once we provide that one more thing we have to do that we have to provide the password uh, so now we provide the password and the hit apply now if i will go back uh, and run my pipeline uh, let's publish this and uh, once we publish and uh, what's going to happen uh, once we go back to our pipeline and uh, execute the pipeline uh, it's going to get the data from the tech browser db and write to the file uh, let's debug again and do you notice that i did not make any change in the pipeline i make the uh, change to the link service parameter so that's the beauty of it uh, if you have link services with, par with parameter uh, you can uh, you know use in multiple uh, pipelines and all that uh, at the end uh, if you need to change the database name and the link service uh, from where it need to get the data you can always go and change the parameter value now we go back here and uh, here if i will refresh and uh, check the test file and edit see right there it's getting the data from the tech browser database so so that's the way you will create a link services with parameter because you needed to change the connection string values such as the database name or the server name and these link services are really helpful. You will create on dev, QA, UAT, prod and then change the just the parameter value and they will point to that specific database or server name you want to get the data from or write the data to. So thank you very much for watching. Please uh, subscribe my channel. I hope this video will help. I have uh, more examples how to use parameter uh, link services uh, and in detail demos uh, on the Azure Data Factory tutorial. Watch them. Thank you.